Someone wrote in and said, um, my husband hasn't touched me in two years, um, not even a hug or a kiss, and we decided to open up the marriage. He's not meeting anyone, but I'm finding lots of people. Um, the problem is, you know, that's going fine for her, but her husband has started to um, call her ugly and fat and psychotic, and he's being really emotionally abusive. And she's at her wit's end. She wants to... She's not sure if she should follow for file for divorce or if it's because he's not finding people to date and he's mm -hmm. just let, lashing out. And she's wondering what she should do. Mm. This is Reed Mahako from readaboutsex.com. Kathy Vartuli from the intimacydojo.com. This is, thank you so much, all of you who write in. Um, and thank you, all of you in the future who will be writing in comments. Like, we get some amazing emails and comments. So yeah. thank you very, very much. Um, this is a great question and a really interesting situation. And not uncommon, um, not like it's always happening in poly relationships, but like when, like how we handle or how your partners or friends even or coworkers handle um, their own emotions, like how things squirt out sideways when they actually can't sit down and tell you what's going on. Or they feel powerless because they're just not getting the dates and you yeah. see your partner going out with a lot of different people. And so you just start becoming mean. Mm -hmm. um, so... The, do you want to speak first on this or what? Well, I like to go back to read teaches in a relationship 10x, which I think is really it's foundational. Why are you in a relationship anyway? Mm -hmm. What do you want to create? Out of, like, why would you be in a relationship? What are you hoping it will add to your life or create in your, in mm -hmm. your world? And if this person is helping you in other ways, like, is it enough to counteract the negativity? And also for me, I like to set really firm boundaries. I think we teach people how to treat us. And we continually get better at it. But if someone's calling me names, I can say, no, that's not acceptable. If you're going to treat me that way, mm -hmm. I need to stop being in the relationship. Um, it doesn't mean you have to like walk out the next time they do that. But maybe setting like the next time you do it, I'm going to remind you the time after that. I'm going to leave for the weekend. And the time after that, I'm filing for divorce. Mm -hmm. Maybe give them a you know three strike rule kind of yeah. thing. I would add into that piece, you know, if, if you don't get better at this in a month, then... I would like you to go to therapy mm -hmm. or for us to go to therapy. Uh, they, they did say they had gone to marriage counseling. Okay. Um, I just, it was, I wanted to shorten yeah. it for the video. Yeah, yeah. But in, in, in this, you know, in that situation, like, so you create steps <clears throat> so that you can feel, um, so you don't have to make drastic changes drastically, but at the same time, you're taking care of yourself, but you're also role modeling good communication and boundary setting. And if we assume in this relationship, you know, just for the assumption, you hadn't been modeling that stuff mm -hmm. because maybe both of you grew up in families where there really weren't great boundary setting skills and communication skills. That's the family I grew up in. Um, I had to learn all those things and then start installing them in my life yeah. and then started hanging out with and making friends with people who were just better at those things to begin with so that I didn't have to always be reinstalling. Going back to, to this situation, um, if you, you know, in Relationship 10X, which you can get some free videos on if you go to relationship10x.com, and then there's a course that you can take if, you're, if you like the videos and you want to go deeper. But the basic here is understanding why you're in a relationship together in the first place, and is that still working? Like if they're, you're not getting physical touch and he's being emotionally abusive, is it, does it still, are you getting enough to make this worthwhile even if you can't work through those things? Yeah, and understanding that, that where the emotional abuse and name calling and stuff, if they'd never done it before and now they're doing it, then that's probably the symptom of other stuff going on, right? Like that's the dashboard light that's and, blinking and beeping. And it still doesn't beeping. mean you have to put up with it. No, you don't have to put up with it. But understand that that if this is something that had never happened before and it's a new development then that's usually like there's needs of theirs that aren't getting met and they're being passive aggressive and so do you have the tools and the kind of relationship where you can sit down and have a conversation about this yeah. you know you decided to open up the marriage so it sounds like you had the com you know the ability to have those conversations so now I'll be like, again, you have to make your own decisions and I'm not excusing bad behavior, but like be like, honey, you know, this name calling thing, like sounds like something else is happening. 
can we talk about it? Or can I cheer you on to go talk to somebody you know, who's a professional listener? Because sometimes what we need is, is an intermediate step. You don't want to play therapist for your partner. They need to go see a therapist and you now play cheerleader and partner to your partner. So again, like some conversations, it's great that you're sitting down and having them, but maybe they should be getting clarity and whatnot first with somebody and you be their cheerleader rather than unintentionally becoming their therapist in the relationship that you're in. Right. And that you can at the same time say, I'm not going to put up with you calling me names like that anymore if that feels right to you. Or maybe you need to get some counseling if it feels like maybe I deserve that because nobody deserves to be called names. And I'm, I'm a big person. I'm fat. If someone calls me fat in a loving way, I have no problem. I, you know, people like I have partners that are like, we'll talk about it. And they're like, use the word fat to describe me. But if it's malicious or, or mm -hmm. hurtful, um, then that's not okay. And I can say, hey, the tone you use with that. And tone is a lot about it. Like the way you're using that word is not okay. And you cannot speak to me that way. Yeah. So you get to decide where your boundaries are. But if you're feeling like, oh, I'm fat, so I deserve negativity. That's not, that's not true. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because we have extra fat cells in our body, that doesn't make us less valuable or less loving or less anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hope this video helped. Leave comments, folks. Yeah. Uh, email us personally if it's a question that you don't um, feel is appropriate or you you know privacy you need privacy or it just feels better to email us uh, directly like we just we love hearing from you mm -hmm. thank yeah. you again thanks for watching <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe to my social media it's right there <laughs> and please subscribe to this channel there <laughs> if you'd like to see more of you feel reading Kathy there's more videos there. I didn't see them. Why are they there? <laughs>